Welcome back guys. We're going to continue to solve problem. This time is application problem as you see sentences, right? And of course, I'm, you know, making sure that you guys understand the sentence problem, which is really important. Some students just give up. You have to have a mindset that you can do it. Okay. So I'll, if you watch a couple of videos back, proportion rate ratio and what makes it proportion and finding unknown given three different quantities, right? You can easily do this. Only one thing we have to pay attention here is do you unit matches on the numerator versus denominator. Once you could do, do that, right, you can easily solve this kind of problem and you will feel proud of yourself. Oh, you can do math, okay? So I'm gonna actually work it out on this one, first one. So first thing I'm gonna read, you're gonna read and read it until you know what is not given, unknown, right? So a recipe for chocolate chips cookie needs eight ounce of oil for every 12 and one quarter cups of flour. Approximately how many ounces? Here you go. So we have something about known. Approximately how many ounces? So that is what is don't know. Okay. Of oil do we need for four cups of flour? So we don't know the ounces. Okay. So here you go. The beauty of this kind of problem is it always there is going to be two sentences clearly this is one sentence and you can actually convert that sentence into a fraction or read let's do that so they said eight ounce here you go i have this one this information eight ounce and this one as you see and of course there should be another one and there is another one this four so that means we can use proportion so i'm going to look into the first one i'm going to convert eight ounce eight ounce versus 12 and one quarter cups look at that how i'm setting it up okay you have to be careful when you convert your first sentence whatever way you could have written 12 and one quarter cups over eight ounce it's fine it's absolutely fine okay but next fraction is the very important and significant one you have to be careful that if you don't have a same unit on the top another word what I, what I mean by same unit if you have ounce on the top here you must have ounce on the top if you have cups down here you must have a cup they must match okay otherwise you won't get correct answer so clearly we don't know how many ounce so that is going to be our x and we know there is a four cups so you know it's going to be four cups four c u p s cups all right so we just form we just form a proportion we just translated that application into an uh, you know proportion or equation i should say equation okay definitely with the fraction you can call it equation too so the next thing we can just solve how do we solve we can just say x times this one which is 12 and one quarter cups we don't really need that 12 and one quarter x equal to four times so do the same thing here four times 32 four times eight which is 32 so i want to check out you know those couple of things i want to yeah, so it's not that doesn't look that messy. Okay, so now I have you see that's it what that is what I did Clearly, I'm going to divide this by Both side by 12 and 12 point 2 5 actually and convert into that that's fine if you use calculator you don't really worry you just divide by the 12 and 1 fourth in both side 12.25 or 12 point That's actually it is this one here 12.5 sorry 12.25 okay so it's going to give you that will disappear and x is going to be equal to in this case 2.61 approximately definitely they said approximately how many ounces so we say approximately you need well we cannot say two ounces we said we should say approximately three ounces we need to make that much chocolate chips cookie that's how remember don't forget to write down the unit it's always good thing okay you always good 
Okay, so again, I'm going to go back here a little bit. I want to make sure that you don't get confused with this conversion here. You can just put down 12 and 1 quarter. That would be same thing, 12 and 1 quarter. is going to give you the same answer, okay? Guys, let's move into the next problem. Again, what is known is 5 quarts. So, we know 5 quarts are needed for 250 square feet of room. So, we know this one, two things. And also we know 25 quart for how many room we don't know. So there is a four thing going on, but three thing is known, one is not known. So we have, we can right away convert into a fraction on the first sentence. So five quart over 250 square feet equal to 25 quarts, so it's matching on the top. 25 goes on the top. Quart over how many square? We don't know that. How many square feet do you need? You don't know that. Okay. So once we know that, guys, I want to make sure we can do this. Okay. So we can just cross multiply. Just like that. It's simple as like that. Okay. Again, I'm going to show you here this one versus that one okay so 5 times x is 5x equal to 250 times 25 that should give you 6250 remember we are looking for square feet because quart and quart is gone on the top as you see you can just cancel them out then divide by 5 divide by 5 Cancel out x equal to, if you do that, it's going to give you 1250 squr square feet unit. Yeah, that's the answer. That's how you actually work it out. Okay, guys, that's how you work it out. Okay, very nice. Let's take a look, a couple of more problems. Okay, so we have this one here, as you clearly see, there is another different kind of problem. So, can you use proportion? Obviously, you can use proportion. Actually, you know, you can do it arithmetic also. So, first of all, if you use proportion, let's check it out here. What is known? What is question asking? A freaking area school has 54. So, you know, total is 54 students. Okay, at some point, it's going to be in the denominator. It is also known that 7 over 8, 7 over, sorry, 7 over 9 of the student can recognize 26 letters. Again, this is to just, this is nothing to do with the problem. How many students still need to? So they know that they know K N O W they know. But question asking how many still need to know? Don't know. Don't know. So if we are clear about the question, what question is asking, right? So well, if seven out of nine know, definitely two out of nine don't know, and that's what question is asking, right? So I can say 2 out of 9 is equal to x over equal to x over 54. I can easily do that. So then what happened is basically you just cross multiply. You can just say x times 9, 54 times 2. So I can actually come up with that. 9x equal to 100 something right 4 times 2 is 8 5 times 2 is 10 108 divide by 9 divide by 9 x is equal to i believe it's 12 students s t u d n t s students need to know or don't know okay so that is how you come up with the answer in this one particular one now i understand some of you say how did you get 2 out of 9 again okay now, if you want to, if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to subtract the beginning, you have to subtract at the end. If you want to start 7 out of 9 equal to x out of 54 is the total. Remember, that's how you actually work it out. So, we can do this actually. 9x is equal to 378. Okay? 378. Then divide by 9 divide by 9 x equal to 
now you're going to see some big number here right you're going to see this, some big number so it's going to give you basically 42 now that 42 student knows but question doesn't ask you question asks you how many don't know so we have to work it out and I let me see I can have a little bit of space here okay so we're looking for don't know so we can say well total is 54 54 minus 42 which is 12 students need to know okay guys that is how you come up with the answer so you can do any way you want to do but that should be the you know final answer okay now you can actually well i can show you there is another way you can do this also just plain arithmetic but you know i want to make sure that you understand that if you are in algebra class right you don't want to settle on arithmetic okay but i'm going to show you here because some of you may say oh you know what i can just do this what i can do let me show you here some of you say well I, if i go down here in the problem right i see seven out of well i can say two let's take a look I can say, well, let me put down here. I can say 7 out of 9 times 54 is equal to 42. And definitely 54 minus 12 is equal to, sorry, 54 minus 42, I mean 42. 12 need to know you see you can do that way also but that's a weak weaker way you want to you want to do that actually you know this is the arithmetic and those we did algebra and of course you can do same thing you can do if you know you can come up with that you can say all well, 2 out of 9 times 54 that will be also 12 students you see in many way you can deal with it as long as you understand the concept main theme right you're fine on that okay let's do this one it's still the same similar stuff okay we can do arithmetic we can do algebra i think i'm going to start with the algebra because this is an algebra class okay and again if you cannot handle the algebra you can come up with the arithmetic still you get the answer don't leave anything blank on your test paper okay so 60 members let's read it 60 members are going to pass a resolution to select a team leader one six of the members voted in favor and two fifth of the members voted against how many did not vote here you go so i clearly see one six is the fraction equal to x over 60. so you do the arithmetic right is going to give you 10 x equal to 10 member okay member what happened what they did voted and again next one i have another one here two fifth equal to x over 60 how many of them so x equal to clearly we checked out is going to give you 24 well, you cross multiply by now you know how to cross multiply 24 all together how many well this one did not this is voted for voted for and this is voted against so all together how many member actually join the voting process so as you see 34 of them why because there is a 10 and there is a 24 it all together is 34 now if you know 34 shows up to vote the question is asking how many did not vote asking how many did not vote we can just think basic arithmetic way so we can say 60 minus 34 is equal to 26 did 
not bought. That's how we find out the answer for this kind of problem, guys. So it seems not that bad at all.